Yeah. Back at it like a good snack. Good snack have Y'all like that. <laughs> I'm like, what is that? That's a is lever- that my cue to keep going? No, no, no that's, a, that's lever action shotgun. Oh, I'm like, is that a cue? That's new. New unspoken so I can pick up on cues real fast. Let's go. What's going on, guys? Hope you've been doing great. Man, we know y'all been doing great. Staying healthy, staying well, staying warm, wherever you are all over the world. And uh, the world, Craig. <laughs> yes. The, the world. world. Let's go. So I'm curious to know if y'all like this. But, <clears throat> you know, in this day and age, the world thinks that men and women's sports are equal. <laughs> it's the stupidest thing ever. What? You give an inch, boy, people take a mile with stuff, boy. Um, so it says women versus men sports. And embarrassing. It's not a competition it says anymore. man versus woman in sports yeah. is embarrassing. Man versus woman in sports. Yeah. That's the same, that's the same thing. No, you reversed it. You reversed it. Okay, let's, let's check it out. Yep. Pretty single. Not all wrestling. Wait, what just happened? Go back. Well, what just happened? Oh, she tapped out. Oh, man. All women. Can't forget the one from like two days ago where they asked if the carpet matched the drapes. Do you ever think before you speak? No, I don't mm. actually. I like to be just as surprised as everybody else. Was that a, a man or a woman? Woman, she says she like <laughs> to be just as surprised as everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> I guess men say women don't think before they speak. Oh my god, that's funny. Oh. <laughs> well, back in there. Let me ask what should be an obvious question. When is this foolish experiment of competing men against women in sport where there's not even close? I know it's stunning and brave, but it's kind of looking like the big brother pinning the little brother in the bed and then farting on his face. Oh! Oh My brother did that to me, old punk. That was he, so made, he did that when I was a kid. Oh, yuck. I would hate when I would tell a guy, I'm like, oh, I really want right. flowers. And he would only just get me flowers. <laughs> right, right. I know. I know. I know that sounds bad. I know exactly how it sounds. But in my mind and in my thinking, it's like I don't want to just tell you exactly what to do. I'm not trying to mother you. I don't want to tell you exactly what to do. I said I wanted flowers, but of course I want flowers plus plus plus. Right. If you don't bring it. Flowers. Then you're a loser. Well, flowers. I'm not saying the flowers are, right. is what's yep. wrong, but it's why couldn't she give me flowers and chocolate? Why couldn't she just okay. go the extra mile to think? outside the Good box point. rather than just following in my exact footsteps of what I'm okay. telling you that I, I like. Man versus woman. All right, for those of you who don't know, pugil sticks, you do it in the Marine Corps. You run around these sticks and try to knock the other person down, yeah. I guess, like a bayonet yeah. or a butt strike. And it's a good. brute force yep. thing. There is some skill, but it's brute force. It That's how this force. works. I'm scared for her. She got the face mask on and everything. <laughs> 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 oh! Our queen! I saw this guy come. Did somebody say all? Oh, all oh, women are queens. Yes. He said women are queens. <laughs> and I took the most excellent hit. <laughs> now, at what point do you say, okay, this is, it's not going to, yeah, there's exceptions of women that kick ass, but on the mass, right? Men are stronger, they're bigger, Damn. they're more powerful physically. So that's what this event is. It's a physical event. When does it just look like it's too much? You know, you're beating up your little brother. It's not cute anymore. Round two. If she breathes, she's a god! Oh, nice. That went straight. She went straight through the They don't part. stand and she doesn't stand a chance. No. Why are you doing this to yourself? Well no no when you in the when you in the core 
I, I think that I don't know if she stood up and said, I'll go against a guy or they were like, no, this you have no choice. But if you notice, if you look at the men, the ratio to men and women, there, it's maybe just I, 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 she's I don't see and, any other woman out there I, I at I this point. Right here. Oh, OK. Well, I think so. Yeah. But I mean, that what you signed up for. But I bet when she, if she was going against another woman, she probably tear him up. Bang! I make it look easy. Ping! Sorry! Eat my dust! Hey, look Those at me, things must ah, weigh 20 pounds. pounds. Yeah, beat up a girl. No, no. That is not what I. I thought they were about to arm wrestle when I search, first saw this clip. Come on. They're right, not doing the slap test. Like. Do you know how heavy a man's hand is? Compared to a woman's arm, and you got all that back power. This? You have you ever heard of this? this is slap boxing. Oh, uh, uh. Watch this. No, it's, it's like slap competition. Oh, mg. I slap can't. The air and taste. No. And thought well, out of your do, mouth. Why do Why do they do this? I don't know why people. This competition. Human beings have always had stupid competitions that we've always loved. Oh my gosh. I never knew there was such thing, but it's sport, right? These slap sport competitions. It looks pretty miserable. I guess you got to be pretty tough to maintain it. Exactly. Insert a girl into this sporting event. And, you know, I think this could be closer than the pugil sticks, but let's find out. You hit it. You hit it. You got to check. Make sure we're good. Make sure she's still in. Look at her face. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say nothing. I want, it kinda, is red and swole. And the right side is kind of higher. Oh no! And grown ups are there too. I wonder if they're gonna show her responding back. Yeah. All right, let's see, honey. What you got? What you got? One, two, three. Get it on. Get it on, baby. Now, it looks like there's a skill to this. I've looked so at they a few must, of these they must slap not have competition. Because they didn't show the actual smack. They're, like, cutting that part. So, I guess, I don't know, maybe because ban of YouTube censorship or something like that. Okay. But think about this for a second. If we all have the same basic head and brain and somebody's more powerful and they can hit you harder, ring your bell, just because they got more sheer power in the body, more muscle. Does that seem like it's fair competition? And what do I mean by competition? We like to watch people that one or the other could win, right? You, don't, you just don't know because we've matched them up into competition. <laughs> They look like kids, too. Yeah, All them grown yeah. folks standing around. Yeah. Oh, slap fist. Get it on. So stupid to me, man. One, two, three. You can tell, you can tell he's, he's, huh? But they're showing him hitting her, but you just can't show her hitting him. No, uh-uh. They cut out that part for the with the full contact. You only just saw a glimpse of him. Oh well, maybe it's just through. her reaction, I guess. I, yeah. Who do you think came up with this sporting event? I like, there's know. There's been a bunch of these running around the internet, and you see some of them, and they're big dudes, and they're passing out. It's entertaining. It's like boxing, right? But this doesn't make sense. Uh, you know, there could be a woman who could be outstanding at it, and there's always those exceptions, and then people want to focus on the exceptions, like, oh, look, this one woman beat yeah. a guy. Yeah. But it's just not reality. It's not fun to watch anymore because we know the results. Tap the fuck out. I said tap out. That's probably why she tapped out of the van and she hit the best. Her time, she just but, I tell you one thing, one thing for sure, and two things for certain. Ain't no man beating up on her. She could be like, she, somebody slap her, a man slap. She could be like, ooh, that tastes good. My turn. I'm just trying to wrap my, my mind around this. She's a connoisseur of slap tasting. You hear me? Mm -mm. Have you been changing oil? Oh. <laughs> I'm still in awe. That ain't funny. <laughs>
I feel sorry. Now, if you're Face a little short guy here, do you feel good about that win? Is that like a W you celebrate? You not at all. Look at me. Not I at be all, the girl G. in a slap off not competition. I mean, do you feel good about that long term? Right, Apparently so. so. Her face. Today was the reminder of why dating wow, apps suck so much. If you've been talking to a chick for maybe three days, you've had her. Now, if you had to give her a makeover, where would you start? You know, the tattoos, we could scratch all those. You look terrible. She's got skinny, fat arms. The hair, she's trying hard, right? She looks like she's <laughs> trying to be a groover hipster. It's not a good look. Let's start. <laughs> Did he say skinny <laughs> fat <laughs> arms? What does that mean? I mean you, you, oh. Skinny at the bottom, fat at the top? No, or it's, fat it's skinny like, at the top, fat like at the bottom? They're small, but they're fat. It's like... Oh my. <laughs> I love doing That's reactions like when... to him because he is so <laughs> he is funny to me. All this, oh my it's, gosh. That's... He don't hold nothing back either. He really don't. He does not care. He's he he's selective with his words though, but he will let you he will let you know exactly what's on his mind. <laughs> That's like when somebody see you like they slim thick. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Look okay. at his eyes. Look at his face. Okay. The tattoos, we could scratch all those. You look terrible. She's got skinny fat arms. The hair, she's trying hard, right? She looks like she's trying to be a groover, a hipster. It's not a good look. Let's start with that. Cell phone for like maybe another 24 hours. Right. And you think she is going to call you daddy? You have lost your ever loving mind. Um, you ain't. Eat now, why wouldn't guys ask for everything? Let me give it up with a swipe in 15 minutes. Why not ask for any kind of weird fetish kink the guy's got because the, the, the currency let me get out of my mouth is devalued women will do all these things you know it's strong independent hashtag girl boss but it doesn't seem that way from a man's point of view me you ain't me you ain't financing me and you ain't even met me yet daddy ain't coming out of this i don't suspect any guys financing her unless he's in the <laughs> woman imp business we'll call it he's a man with a fur coat and a top hat i suspect he's not financing her chick's mouth a fur coat on top of his head, pin, man. Yeah. Can't forget the one from like two days ago where they asked if the carpet matched the drapes. God, no. Last time I checked, we're no longer in the 70s nor the 80s. And even back then, that was the worst pickup line ever. So if you're one of these guys, just any guy that acts like this, um, and you're in your 40s and 50s. You know, it could be a good pickup line because you're dyeing your hair purple or whatever color this is. Why not the lower unit? I mean, in today's world, maybe that's a thing. I don't know. She seems <laughs> like she's really trying hard. But I'm, I'm guessing she's probably 35, looks 45, rode hard, put up wet kind of thing. These? Nah, she a little older than 35 for real. You can tell in the eyes and, them, and right here in the face, she's got to be, she's probably I early 40s like but lived color. it hard. huh? Yeah, I kind of like her hair color. It's not the color, but it's the matching. Like, if it was looking good, is what he's saying. Mm -hmm. right. That's why you're still single. Right, so, right. I met this guy on a dating app, and he told me he was interested in a long-term relationship. Okay. And um, I'm interested in a long-term relationship, meaning I want to hook up with you. I know that's what you want to hear. I know you'll give up. You'll part way with the booty quick, and I'll keep saying that, and then I'll move on when I'm done. We instantly clicked. He started coming, taking me on dates. Um, I introduced I him to my friends. Coming. Everybody really liked him. They said he was super nice, super great guy. I met some of his friends. Um, good connection. Anyways, um, he slowly, slowly started to show me different signs of himself. Ghosting, not showing up to dates, and then come. Okay, so as well, for on, on the cheat code of a man, it's just like Olden said. He got he he got what he was wanting. Now he kind of ready to go because, of course, you're gonna. I'm not saying towards you, but of course you're gonna go extra, the extra mile because there's something particular that you are super focused on that you're trying to get. And as soon as you get that, all the all the, ba bam is gone. And now you just kind of like, all right, what's next? Yeah. Because that if he started ghosting, he had no interest of anything after he got what he wanted. You and know he what had saying? no intentions on sticking around for the long haul anyway. Yeah. No.
with these really elaborate. He wasn't ghosting you. He was busy with his other Tinder hookups. Get that in your head correctly. <laughs> he was busy getting some. He had you on the fifth back burner. And that's how, that, that's how this works. I mean, women understand that. Excuses as to why. One of them, oh, I was in the hospital. My back really hurt. Another one, yeah. oh, sorry, my friend's mom had a heart attack. Oh, no. I had food poisoning. It's like, oh, okay, did the dog <laughs> eat your homework? So his excuses are pretty lame. They're like, hey, when I get with you, oh, that means what? we can hang out. When you don't hear from me, that means I'm busy. Stay in your lane, honey. I just started to <laughs> back away from him. And the That's more smart. I backed away from him, the more he pushed himself onto me. Like he didn't want me to be with anybody else. He didn't want to let me go. And every time I tried to get away from him, he came back. It's like, no, things are going to change. I'm so sorry. Right. This is what happened. I do this. And it's like he became totally like apologetic. He must have hit a dry well, like the Tinder situation was really sparse. And he's like, OK, I got this chubby one on the back burner. And I'll see if I can re-spark the interest. And, you know, telling me all the things that I wanted to hear. Right. Of course. So anyways, um, it increasingly got to the point where I just couldn't take his lies. Like I knew he was lying. So I decided I was going to break things off. He didn't like that, you know, continually trying to. It's all on texting. You just don't text him anymore. You block him. I mean, he doesn't like that. You just like block the text, move on. I don't see what the big hassle here is. Message me. So, you know, I was kind of like thinking, oh, maybe he is changing because he was like, you know, nice. I've been going to therapy and I really think that you should give me another chance. I really want to. If you meet somebody right off the bat, they say, I've been going to therapy. You may want to cut out. There's lots of fish in the sea. You don't need to start with a broken <laughs> fish right off the bat. He don't waste no time. He don't, man. I love him, man. I feel you. Work. Fast forward. I get um, this weekend, I get an email from his wife. What? I am. And she told me, you know, um, I've seen messages between the two of you and wow. I'm his wife. The whole situation just got uncomfortable. She's trying to meet somebody. I'm going to give her a break. The guy's just trying to get some. So he's using every tac tactic under the sun. Old tactics, mind you. And the wife's involved. That shit ain't good. Mm -mm. This man has been telling me one thing, living two Brian separate lives. Um, he's married, married with a two year old. I didn't know any of Wow. Cold blood. And it's probably a high possibility that the wife and dealt, dealt with him before. He, this ain't the first time. Right. She didn't dealt with him. Of she course. Stuff. Yeah. Say it. Wow. She told me there's many others, and this is a game. There's many others. Is she shocked by that? Now, ladies, would you be shocked that this guy, based on the fact pattern here, there was many others? No. He ghosts her for lengths of time, meaning he's hooking up other Tinder hotties, and then she thinks, like, you have to know this is happening in your head. This woman, she's old enough to know better. For him, you know, come to find out he's a narcissist, right, and right. he is preying on women like me. And what is a woman like her? What is she self-describing herself as? Like somebody who just wants a relationship. I get it. She's willing to indulge in the hopium because maybe he's the one, hopium. right? But you just have to stop yourself and go, my practical cap is on. I know this is probably not re real. This is pretend. Yeah. And then what do you do? She's my I post my it's on the internet for money, but I used to be a chemical engineer. Haram as hell, okay. Yeah, I love it. Hey, these really are coming, god damn. Hey, my Islamic Republic of Iran is so corrupt that you don't even want to get into it, so yeah. Okay, so it's not Persia anymore now? So the degeneracies have invaded Iran, which she figures got a pretty strict moral code on the surface, right? We know what happens under the surface, but, you know, OF is everywhere, my friends. It's the Islamic Republic of Iran, haven't you heard? Uh, well, okay, you can't 14,000 people are about to die for protesting, did you hear? Really? Yeah, Oh man. you should probably hear. Oh. If you're going to be acting like that, you should have some knowledge about the world around. Complete smartass who posts her nudes online is going to give a moral lecture to everybody else. Yeah. So, so, so you show your poll on the internet? Um, I don't know. That's where you find out. Literally, you quite literally... So that's Fresh and Fit Podcast, and that's Sneaky, Sneako. Um, yeah. <laughs> I said anything thing. new. I didn't say I spread my ass cheeks open. But I might. I don't know. You can find out, though. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, I don't subscribe to OnlyFans, but that's that's fantastic. Anything else you do professionally besides that? I have a podcast called Off the Air TV. I have the a podcast? Yeah, yeah. They're, both, yes, they're both like hosts. These two. They all have a podcast, which no one listens to. <laughs> if you're going to her stuff, you just want to see the goods, right? The naked goods, the dog toys on the side. So just that's what you're looking for. You don't want to hear her talk. What happened to the man versus woman in sports? 
That, must, that faded. Okay. That was like, look, I'm the like, man versus woman in sports was like the first four slides. And right. then it went on to what is this now? Randomness. Right. <laughs> for hours. I mean, these people think in their brains that people want to hear them talk. The answer is no. You know, the podcasts are trash. What the hell? What are y'all talking about? You've never had your parents. views challenged you know, ever. I don't give a fuck. Do. do you know my dad is a Muslim man? And do you, do you think he was and cool about his daughter quitting her Of course he's not. He's disappointed. So that's what I've dealt with my whole entire life. So I don't want to deal with it when I left home. Yeah, he's okay. not I left home for a reason. So I don't want to deal with my dad. You don't want to hear dad. the truth. Okay. Still haram, though. The internet. I like when and he said he was talking about the guy was trying to decide on Tinder. He was like, man, do I want to deal with the chubby one? <laughs> I'm just talking about the mere fact that I'm going to go back to when the man knocked that lady down. Like, he was tackling. He didn't even care that she was a woman. He went straight for her. And they were like, women's a queens. Bro, this is not football. That must I, be Marine. Yeah, I think it's, you know, I don't think certain sports, and you know, it's the same for women and men. It's not. Wrestling, Which ones are? I mean, the, the rules and stuff, I guess, but it's just the playing field. Wrestling? Can you imagine a woman trying to wrestle a man? No. You might have you might have a kabuka up there. What's that? That's not like something stinking. Kabuka? It's not like look something at, dirty. Look at, look at my people's a wrestler. Kabuka was a humongous wrestler. Oh, so this is an individual. I'm yeah. You, it, may, it may just seem like you might have a kabaka, mm -hmm. a kabusha. A K Baka up there, you know. Oh, okay. Well, I no disrespect to him, but I was thinking from a standpoint, you're saying this is some kind of spe special something. No, let me I'm gonna make sure I'm, I'm quoting it right. But Kabuja. I'm it sounds like it sounds like a drink I go get at get at the store. Your face ID. But anyway, that yeah, I don't think that they're the same. She's she mean kombucha. I don't mean kombucha. His name is Kabuka. <clears throat> Look up Kabuka. Wrestler Kabukla. Kabuka. K. K, yeah, K, mm -hmm. A, mm -hmm. no, K, yeah, K, B, B, O, K -O type of water K -A. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You yeah, all stop populating. I'm so. The wrestler Kabuka. K, A, B, O, O, K, A. Let, let it go, baby. Let Is it, it coming up? Uh, I don't let, know. Let it go, let it go. The great Kabuku. But Kabuki, Kabuku, Buka. Japanese. Seeb, exactly. Professional Seeb. wrestler. Kabuki. But it's Kabuka. I was close. Kombucha. Exactly. He was a Japanese wrestler. He was not um, a small man. But what that had to do with anything? A woman. It was about men and women's sports. There was no, there's no, there's very little that's equ no, running, you know, sprinting. Oh, well, that's different. Yeah, Tr track. track. Track might hold a little different. Maybe even swimming. But with track races, I've never seen up in track where the men and women are combined in sports. They're not, but I'm just saying they may be able to compete a little bit more fairly against one another compared to wrestling. Maybe yeah. even joint throwing the javel. Stop the cap. The shock put. I don't know because a kabuka and even a woman wrestler who was you know or, or shock put thrower was heavy or tall or had the the stature that was stop the cap <laughs> so whatever that's not how the design was made there are definite limitations between strength right there's so many different factors when you come to a man and a woman yeah you know and only people that's pushing that crap to me are the feministic people but um so I want to say, well, I mean, this is so me. funny. Like the first part of it really was matching up to what was going on. And the yeah. second half, people just had like, all the stuff, how they were what feeling. Was going on. on. Yeah. Maybe he's trying to shuffle between the chubby one. <laughs> um, the chubby one. Okay. And then he started talking about the other woman. He said, um, that's too much. He's too funny. He's too funny. He's too funny. But, Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Don't take a nosedive, but comment down in the section below if you want some more. And one more thing. People have been saying, you know, in addition to the mic thing, they're like, won't you just, hey, I got a little tip for you. Just put it on your shirt. Well, that's why I used to do, but it's broken. So if it wasn't broken, it would be attached to my shirt and y'all wouldn't hear me breathing or you wouldn't see me holding it. So it's broken.
Mine isn't, but I think I sound better with it closer than it being way down there. That one is going bald. It's okay. Car ain't got no roof. Show him, show him the mic. Show him, show him the baldness at the top of it. Show him how it's going bald at the top. No. Y'all see the tip, the top right there. I know if I come in, it ain't gonna be a focus, but it's it's going bald. It's all good. It's all good. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't take a nose type of comment down in the section below if you want some more. And see you in the next video, guys. This was kind of funny. Yeah, it was.